and to all the Perda template users. This is another video where I will compare the two versions of the app, the old and the new one. Let's jump right into it. The new update 3.0 will have a black icon and it will be released in February 2022. Let's compare some features side by side and I will open the new version. I will go to templates and choose the first standard template and I will split screen with the old version. I will drag it to the side and have a split view and open the same exact template. So first thing you will notice is that the tools placement has changed and we have a bigger area for drawing now. So the first thing you'll notice is that all the tools have been located at the bottom and now you actually have more space for drawing and the tools will be here on the left sidebar. So what has changed? Before, when we used to draw, we had two major la layers. The first one was for drawing and we had some range of tools and we had a second layer for coloring and it had a bigger range of tools, it had some patterns and they acted as a layers, which means this was a top layer, this was a bottom layer, now the whole concept of layers have been shifted here and you can add as many layers as you want. The tools have shifted to the left side and if you tap and hold you will see that now all the tools are going to be available to all the layers. And as well there are types of line and you will choose the size of tool using these new tool with these dots which represent the actual size of the brush while before if you use the tool you just use to tap on it and use the slider so this tool is universal for every tool that you use every drawing tool and the patterns are as well going to be available to all the layers because before we used to only have them on this layer so if you press on it, you will see the different types of pattern here. This is the entire family and I will press plus and see the whole library. Let's see how it used to be. So this little bag used to represent the library and we used to have them here, scroll through them, select it and have them here. Now you can still have them different um, patterns from the same family here as a small icons and the plus is where it takes you to the full library. So another new feature is how you're going to use color in the new update. This icon here is your color palettes and you have standard color palettes just like you used to have here. So they used to be located over here and the same exact color palettes are still in the app you just switch between them over here this toggle to make it lighter lighter or darker is still here however you used to have a color picker tool right here with grid spectrum and sliders where you could find a color and manipulate it now it has a new um, a new place, a new um, icon for this tool. So there's a grid spectrum and sliders and here's a color picker as well. But this tool have had a new um, way of using it. Let's say I take this color, I pick it and I can drop it to fill in some areas. This is a color fill tool, something that wasn't available on the previous version and you could use it to fill in the areas of your illustration instantly. So the eraser is located here. Before we used to have an eraser on each layer and it used to erase um, the contents of that layer. And we used to have this big eraser to um, erase something on all the layers. Now, since we have layers menu here, we can um, basically pick an eraser, choose the layer which we want to manipulate and we only use this single tool for any erasing um, within the project. 
I think it is a simpler concept comparing to the one we used to have, very easy to use. And this is a smudge tool. It used to be located here and here for separate layers. Now it's just one icon you can press, you can choose the layer that you want to work with. And the other tools, the camera and the scissors and the pin, they work exactly the same. Let's talk about the layers for a moment. So basically, um, you can use plus to create more layers. You can use an eye to hide the contents of the layer, the duplicate layer and the delete layer function. It's pretty simple, nothing complicated. I think overall it's much um, it gives you much more control over drawing than before. So one more thing to take note is that before we used to have these three circles. If you press on them, you will have the transparency toggles for the template. And on this version, it works exactly the same way. It just has this new minimalistic designs. The icon has changed its look.